Hey, my friends, Jeff McGann here, uh, Max Tannic Films, obviously. Uh, this is a, a video that uh, is sad to do. I didn't really want to do this, but uh, um, TN, TN Fly Girls, she's, uh, she passed away with her father in their Beechcraft Debonair on December 7th, and uh, they've got a channel. I, I enjoy her channel, um, have enjoyed her channel, and uh, this is really just a tragic accident. Um, they uh, uh, had a fatal accident in, in the Debonair um, on the way to uh, get some avionics done in the airplane and um, under unknown circumstances. So I'm not here to speculate on it, but uh, people have asked, well, what do you think happened? We did fly an F-30 uh, five Bonanza for a number of years. As many of you know, we uh, did, had a crash landing on that with an engine failure. Um, but uh, Jenny, she was, you know, about a 400-hour pilot and, and uh, you know, going through the process of learning. And it's, uh, the videos were really interesting about that. And uh, there were a lot of pilots that uh, would chime in and give her advice. And, she, you know, she was learning. Um, and uh, her and her father flew a lot together. And that, you know, uh, kind of sits close to home because I flew with my dad for, you know, and my mom. But, you know, with my father for, you know, over 40 years. And so this is just a real bummer. Um, you know, the only thing I'm really going to just show you is just what what we know about it so far. And you can see here in this picture. But um, what I want you to do is look at this is this is the cockpit of her airplane. And if you look at the airspeed indicator over here, um, you can see it gets into the yellow arc at about, you know, about 190. Um, so pay attention to that. Um, and so when we take a look at... Um, Aviation Safety Network. There's really not a lot of information in here. They were on their way to Arkansas uh, to get some avionics done. They've got a 1965 C-33 Debbie Debonair. Um, and so if we look at Google Earth here, and uh, so um, this is her home airport. Um, and so they took off out of here and uh, downtown Island Airport here in Knoxville, Tennessee. And uh, they were on their way. I'm going to zoom out here. And uh, so you can see it. You see the book? This is where the middle one here, this is where the airplane went down. This is uh, where they were headed to in Arkansas. And so they were not quite halfway there. And uh, this is uh, Cornersville or... Uh, area of where the airplane went down the weather so it was 11 a.m. in the morning the weather I, I looked I looked it up everything I could find was fair was good weather um, and this is where the area that the airplane went down somewhere around here and um, if we look at the flight tracker and we can so this was is at the time there was a little weather to the east but uh, nothing to the west and uh, you can see here they were going around to this area is where they were headed. And um, now when we look at the ADSB data, it's uh, rather interesting. She'd been having some issues with the autopilot. There's some videos in there talking about that. Uh, and so, you know, it's very likely that she was probably hand flying it. I know that that was something she wanted to get worked on. Um, if we replay this, and just take a look at speed and altitude there, and then we'll get into, we'll look at the track log here in just a minute. And I'll just give you just some observations um, that I see, and why I pointed out the airspeed indicator into... Uh, you know, as we watch the miles per hour here, you know, and looking at this, it just seems like there was some, something erratic going on here. You know, we don't see any kind of a spiral or anything like that, but we see a, you know, some, you know, when we look at pitch here, uh, very erratic. 
and uh, once again, this is this is no, this is a different cockpit, but similar airspeed indicator, if not, I mean, literally identical looking airspeed indicator. You got your airspeed miles per hour on the outside, knots on the inside. Um, and uh, when we look at this flight track, this is going to be in miles per hour, knots over here to the left, miles per hour. Uh, if you follow my mouse here, but. So when we take a look at this, you know, uh, departing out of Knoxville here, the yellow line altitude, so climbing, airspeed, and they're getting up here, and then they're at about 6,300 feet. That looks like where she wanted to be. And uh, everything seems, you know, fine here, but you're only going, these are five-minute windows, so not, not a long period of time. They're in the air for, you know, about an hour and 16 minutes. So it seems seems okay, and then here we see a little, you know, something here, you know, airspeed up to 170, and uh, and a drop of about 400 feet, you know, pretty rapidly now. As you look at this, these are your your up and down rates of of in, you know increase and decrease. So it's kind of rather interesting. Um, but fa fairly stabilized through here, but we see these little, you know, little jumps could be turbulence. Uh, they be in there talking. Look, there's all kinds of reasons. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean jack squat. It means nothing. It's just an observation. Okay. Um, and there's, look, you know, believe me, um, that altitude, you know, this time of year, it's pretty smooth, you know, 11 AM, but who knows, you know, but, but, uh, you know, bumpiness is bumpiness. So it's, it's, this is nothing you know um scary but when you get here this gets this now this is getting you know this is dramatic uh you know these are dramatic fluctuations here so once again if we look at airspeed now we're you know 175 um so we're getting close to that yellow arc you know um and ADSB is not perfect by any means, but look at the altitude now. So we're at 63, 6350. Within a couple minutes, we're we're down here to 5400. Now they're not descending into any airport. They've got they're not even halfway. So this is why this I find this interesting. Uh, and then now we're back up altitude. You know we're up to 6700 feet, 68 airspeed. You know 130. And you can see these fluctuations. Um, and then here, you know, airspeed slowing. Now we're 5,800 feet. So, so there's there's these deviations going on, and and of course, as we get here towards um, the end, you, you know, here it's, it's stabilized. So you're for about three minutes here. You know, about 5,000, 5,200 feet, 155 miles an hour. And then, and then we see some erratic movement here. Now, 184, 190 miles an hour. So into the, you know, again, that's, you know, 190. We're we're right on this yellow arc here. So, you know, at that speed, you're you're gonna know it. You're gonna feel that. You will feel that in the airplane. I mean, the wind's gonna be increased. Um, also your, the sound, every, the sounds change, you know, it changes inside the airplane. It's, it's, it's not like a pressure change, but it almost feels like a pressure change. Um, you, you really notice that you, you, you will notice, uh, at th that speed you will, it's very, very noticeable. Um, you know, Bonanza doesn't like to, you know, I mean, if you're up at altitude, great, but you, but in this case, in this situation, you're going to be very aware that that's, you know, that's, uh, He's going to get your attention. Um, now here we're, you know, looks like she's maybe trying, you know, now we're down to 4,600 feet, airspeed bleeding off now 119. And then here all the way down, you know, I think I saw it at about 90, 98 miles an hour at 5,800 feet. So, you know, that's a pretty, um, you know, pretty rapid decrease and increase altitude, de you know, and decrease in airspeed. And then we see this dramatic drop off, you know, up to 204 miles an hour. Um, and uh, so something, you know, something happened there. And at 204 miles an hour, you're, you know, you're well into the yellow arc here, um, and the ADSB only pings every so often, so we don't really have any good information. But 
you know, you can see that that's dramatic and uh, it could be anything from a medical emergency. You know, there was, uh, you know, who knows, they could have had carbon monoxide. I mean, there's all kinds of different things. So I'm not going to sit here and say that, that, you know, what the, uh, there was some kind of a loss of control, but, uh, you know, was it a, you know, was did something in the airplane break? Um, you know, so we don't know, but that's the information that they have at this time. There's, I could find no other information I have. You know, there there have been a few witnesses. Uh, there was a gentleman that just said he saw the airplane go in, and uh, but that didn't didn't specify on. You know, was it was the engine running? Um, was it a high rate of RPM? Was it uh, you know spiraling? But this the speed here um, is is uh, you know fairly fairly dramatic. And uh, when we look down here, we've got a. Oh, let's go to the bottom. I mean, the last ping was uh, a descent rate of over 6,000 feet per minute, and um, and so you can see these these changes. Uh, now, when we go up to the top here, and these rates, you know, fair, you know, you're you know climbing out, um, fairly normal, and then but and then in here, you know, not not as stable as you would. You know, you would want to see. Like I said, it could maybe it was turbulent. It could have been hazy. I could not find anything on the weather. But anyway, I'm just I'm just passing on. You know this information, and uh, for those that uh, were making comments about it, and my wife was asking me about it. I, you know, I'm not going to speculate. We'll have to wait and, and find out. Um, I'm sure that uh, Blanco Illyrio channel, you know, Juan Brown will probably have something on this much more insightful than myself, or Dan Greider, probable cause. They'll they'll probably have something on this. Just really, really sad, horrible news. Um, really, uh, just just a sweet lady and her dad, and and just uh, you know, God bless them, and you know, my heart goes out to them. It's just uh, it's just terrible, and uh, you know, the only thing we can maybe we could learn something from it but uh you know be safe out there and and uh you know so we're uh it seems like we're losing some pilots and we hear about it more now because of social media but it uh it sucks so anyway y'all take care and, and uh we'll we'll talk to you soon